everyone. Welcome back to another video by Cam Room 5. In today's video, we're going to be continuing with the AS level topic of stereoisomers. We already know what isomers are. We know they have the same molecular formula but different structures. Now, what's the meaning of the word stereo? It refers to the concept of space or spatial arrangement. It's not spatial arrangement, it's spatial arrangement, which means the arrangement of particles in the 3D space. So stereoisomers have different arrangement. They have different arrangements of the atoms in 3D space. Or you can call it different spatial conformation again conformation which means the overall 3d structure it's not conformation we often get confused with these two words now we know that stereoisomers are of two kinds the first is geometrical isomers and the second is the optical isomers the geometrical isomers are formed because of restricted rotation around a bond. Now let me explain. Geometrical isomers most commonly exist when carbon-carbon pi bond is present. Now what does it mean? Imagine a structure where two carbon atoms have a single bond in them and the other three bonds of the carbon atoms are made by chlorine, bromine, and iodine. On the other carbon, again, there are three bonds made by the carbon, again with the chlorine, bromine, and iodine atom. But since the single bond, the single sigma bond, can easily rotate itself, the atoms, the bromine atom, the chlorine atom, and the iodine atom can also rotate themselves. So that is why there is no concept of restriction in rotation. These atoms can continue to rotate, the bonds can continue to twist itself. So we can't pause the structure, but Imagine the structures have a carbon-carbon double bond, like the one I'm drawing here. When the atoms have a carbon-carbon double bond, for example, the kind of the structure that I just drew here, what happens is that one of these bonds is a sigma bond and the other is a pi bond. The pi bond will not allow the carbon-carbon bond to rotate. So it's really important for us to remember over here rotation is not possible. Rotation isn't possible. So it's important for us to know that since rotation is not possible the groups which are present on carbon-1 and the groups which are present on the carbon 2 they determine whether geometrical isomers will be made or not now when we talk about geometrical isomers let's study it with an example the structure I drew here has two carbon atoms the one highlighted with yellow and the one highlighted with blue the yellow carbon has a methyl on top and a hydrogen at bottom. Methyl on top, hydrogen at bottom. The blue carbon also has a methyl on top, hydrogen at bottom. What if we had a different structure with two carbon atoms, again the yellow one, again the blue one, but this time the yellow one had hydrogen on top and methyl at bottom while the blue one was similar. In such a scenario, 
you will notice that the blue carbon is exactly the same but the yellow carbon has the groups upside down. Let's call the structure on the left as A and the structure on the B uh, on the structure on the right as B. In structure A you can notice let me delete this portion over here you can notice that both methyl groups are in front of each other and you can notice both hydrogens are in front of each other but in structure B the methyls are facing in opposite direction in first structure the one on the left which is known as structure A it is called as cis geometrical isomer and the one which is on the right side known as structure B you can see that both groups are facing in the opposite direction so it is known as a trans structure now imagine we have a carbon atom it has its four bonds which are arranged tetrahedrally if it makes another bond with one more carbon atom it's a sigma bond it can rotate but what if it's a double bond including a pi bond now there can't be any rotation imagine there's a hydrogen on one side and let's say on the other side let's put oxygen I don't know let's put a chlorine atom the green one is a chlorine atom so on the same carbon I'm putting a chlorine atom which is green in color here on the carbon at the bottom let's put chlorine and hydrogen again but this time remember the chlorines are facing each other and the hydrogens are facing each other even if you rotate the structure both the chlorines of these two carbons keep facing each other it is called a cis geometrical isomer where the chlorines and the hydrogens are facing each other even if you rotate it it's not changing structure but on the right side you can see another structure where the chlorines of both carbons are facing in opposite direction and so are hydrogen this is the concept of cis and trans isomer the structure on the left is known as cis geometrical isomer and the structure on the right is known as trans geometrical isomer and it is only possible because there is no rotation around carbon carbon double bond